guys say, so like um, a guy like you and a guy like you, you guys have never done day game before, um, or if any of you ever have like a really difficult time like getting in the zone, right? Because I mean, for you, I would assume the thought of going up, I mean, I don't know you personally, but I would assume for you that the thought of like going up to like a hot girl standing here on her phone and going up and like trying to get her number and take her on an instant date or something is probably a little nerve wracking, right? I can force myself into state. That is, that is like my strength is if I do wake up and we're just like, we're just fucking walking through the hotel lobby and whatever, and then I see this girl I recognize from last night, I can fucking snap out of my haze and really get into that zone to start talking to these girls. You know what I mean? So I thought like, how can I actually teach somebody to, how can somebody replicate what it is that I'm doing? Life isn't always great, right? You know, sometimes you're bummed out about things, you've got shit going on and the last thing you want to think about you're thinking about paying your fucking bills whatever it is the last thing you want to think about is oh i now i have to go fucking talk to this girl because aaron says to always practice day game you know what i mean so in order to get into that really good mindset this is what you can do okay this is what i this is what i've been working on and i kind of want us all to like do it now a little bit okay so the three s's followed by the fourth step are smile swagger socialize okay the idea being one, the smile is two parts, okay? So if I, so like, if you're the fucking girl that I'm coming up to, if I come up to you with like this like stern ass face and you can sense the shakiness and I'm nervous or whatever, and I come up and I'm like, I'm like, hey, what's up? How's it going? You know what I mean? It's going to be a little more, you're gonna not have that basic social comfort as opposed to if I'm coming up and I'm like, hey, what's going on? I'm Aaron, how are you? Or whatever the fuck your opener is. You have to, you have to smile before you open, okay? So that's part one of that smile. And do that, do that in night game as well. That's not just day game. When I like, when you're out with like a bunch of PUAs and I fall into it too, it's a fucking bad habit. But like, if we're all out together and shit, you'll see all your fucking wings out like with a stern ass face as they're looking for sets. Like fucking prowling around like a goddamn hawk. Like there's one, you know what I mean? And you, you, you have to realize that maybe the girl, maybe there was something about you that the girl who you're gonna approach in 20 minutes sees right there and remembers you as that like super serious looking guy. You know what I mean? You have to almost act as though you're always being watched but not in like a paranoid way. So part one of the smile step is just smiling before the approach. Awesome. Saying, cool. He's like, stay away from this. Um, so smiling before the approach. Step two of that is when you really aren't in a good mood. I'm sure you guys have seen, like you guys follow Elliot Hulse and stuff like that. And you know, it's like, it's pretty well known, but the whole idea that like smiling literally makes you happy. It puts you in a better mood. When you just fucking like, if you're just like, I don't want to fucking do day game, but you're like in your car, or even night game, whatever, you're fucking in your car, just like big ass smile. I've done that before and I start to like laugh during it. And I'm like, one, this is weird that I'm doing this. And then also it really does just start releasing that fucking whatever, dopamine. Like mind follows body, body, body follows the mind. Yeah, exactly, man. What is it? They call it bioenergetics. Tony Robbins has a whole thing about it. You know how you can, uh, oh, motion, motion creates emotion. And so that's like technically not emotion or whatever. But so that's like the smile step, smiling on the approach and then definitely smiling before you're going out to do game to get into, it, get into your zone, you know? Then the second step is swagger. So smile, swagger, socialize, right? What that means is a lot of the fucking times, like if I drive, so if I drive like two hours for whatever reason, I'm driving from fucking Columbus to my parents' house, my parents to Columbus, whatever the fuck it is, just from Cincy up here, hour, 20 minutes, whatever. Um, you know, I get out of the car or whatever, or if I've just been sitting around and I go out and I just like, my body's like natural default is to like be frumpy a lot of the times. That's what it, your body's natural default is to like fucking be relaxed, you know what I mean? But you have to like fight that and have your good posture, but not only your good posture, but also like a looseness, you know what I mean? So when you're walking, like when you're like walking out to do day game, I mean, you probably don't want the girl to see you doing this, like the warm up walk or whatever, but it's sort of just like fucking stretching your fucking arms out, man, and getting your fucking legs moving and feeling good you know what I mean because then when you go up to the girl again dude they, they can fucking do you, you know how girls have really good senses of smell all their other senses are better than ours as well they literally can pick up on all this shit they can pick up on the fucking tense body language of you being fucking nervous right. I'm talking almost like getting ready for a boxing match I'm talking almost just like fucking getting that blood fucking flowing getting loose getting ready like this is what I'm about to do right but on top of that not taking it too seriously so not like gearing up in a way where it's like this is do or die but more so just again loosening that body up so smile swagger and then socialize right socialize is pretty 
fucking, it makes a lot of sense, obviously. Just socialize with people around you. Um, it really ties into the next step. But I mean, just socializing with absolutely anybody and not giving a fuck about what it is that you're you're saying to them, talking to them. Hey, nice shirt. Yo, what's up? Hey, uh, fucking, hey, is the union this way? Perfect, thanks. As you're walking by people, whatever. Something I learned in stand-up comedy was something that I learned really fucking quick and then I looked into it myself was I noticed that early on in stand-up comedy when I would be, because I didn't have any friends there, I didn't, I didn't know any of the comics, so I would be sitting there and I would be like waiting my turn to go up and then after not talking for like 30 minutes or something, I would be, I'd go up to start talking and I'd like my tongue wasn't like, your mouth is like not warmed up, you know what I mean? It's like harder to speak. That's why if you actually watch like a lot of, um, you know, performance arts, like like whatever the fuck it is, like uh, actors, you know, whatever, they do the whole like the, the teeth and the tongue, the tip of the, whatever it is, they like warm their mouth up or whatever. And I found that with comedy, when I was just outside talking to the comics, then I went right up on stage, I, w I flowed. I was already in that zone. So you want to do your best to not have to go from complete and utter silence into your first approaches, right? Yep. So that's the three S's, smile, swagger, socialize. But the fourth part of the equation, which is the most important part where you tie it all in together and actually like use it, like the actual technique here, is basically, so it's called a hit and run, okay? So once you've got that down, once you're like, if you're smiling, swagger, and you're getting ready to socialize, you wanna do hit and runs, okay? So a hit and run is basically where you go up, and if, you, if you're the chick, I just come up and I go, hey, I really like your blouse. And then she's like, she's like, oh, thanks, have a good day, okay? And you just walk off. No, no nothing. No intent, no outcome, absolutely nothing. You're literally just getting used to looking a pretty girl in the eye, saying hello, complimenting her, maybe even getting, you know, Put your own twist on that shit. It doesn't have to be the fucking blouse or the shirt or whatever. Maybe be a, be a little sexual or like, whatever the fuck it is. Just come up with something to say in that hit and run. But force yourself into those.